Good morning, beautiful ladies. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. We want to count our blessings on today. Just want to jump on, like always, and give you a few words while I'm waiting on my students to get here. And I just want to ask you the question, where are you pitching your tent? I did a Sunday school lesson on this a few years ago. And I talked about where we settle and how we ended up um, sometimes going through life settling and accepting places where we are. But we have to know and understand that God has greater for us. Jeremiah 29, 11, God says, I know the plans that I have for you, plans of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. One version says for a hope and a future. And so sometimes things happen to us. We get complacent in life. We say, well, this is fine. You know, I, I'm good where I am. At least I had this. At least I had that. And we pinch our tent there and we settle. And sometimes we pitch our tent in places that's not healthy. We may pitch our tent in a place of bitterness. We may pitch our tent in a place of frustration. We may pitch our tent in a place of depression. And that is not the will of God for us. Don't settle in the state that you're in. The Apostle Paul said, I learned how to abound in a basis. I learned how to be empty and I learned how to be full. And he was talking about being content, but being content where you were, but not settling where you were. The scripture talks about Isaac and it says Isaac became great and he continued to become greater. God wants you to continue to become greater. There is more inside of you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So I want to tell you on today, don't give up on your dreams. Don't lose hope. Don't don't lose sight of the future and what God has for you because of circumstances, because of setbacks, because of what seems like it may not be. I have to talk to myself and tell myself that. God showed me a big, big vision, even as a child, of what I was going to be doing. And even now, I've been working diligently for 15 years trying to build my community center, build my school, and we are not even at a fraction of what God showed me. And there's been times where I said, well, at least we made it this far. At least we were able to help these many kids. At least we were able to, you know, have our school in the back of the church. But that is not the vision God gave me. So I have to remind myself, don't pitch your tent. Don't don't settle where you are. Trust God for the vision and the dream that he gave you. Know that greater provisions lie ahead. He is just beginning. And the word says, do not despise small beginnings. So don't think because you started small that you're not going to go higher. Just stand on God's word and believe that dream that he invested in your heart. God knows the secret petitions of our heart. And his word says, if we delight ourselves in him, he will give us the desires of our heart. And I believe when we are lined up with him and when we are in sync with God, the desires of our heart is the will that he has for us. It's the purpose. Remember and focus on his promises. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed going out and you're blessed coming back in. So I just want to encourage somebody on today. Allow adversity to fuel your fire. Don't allow it to put it out, but allow it to push you, to ignite you, to move forward in those things that God has placed before you. So I just want to give you hope on today. Think about where you're pitching your tent and remember to move forward and trust the Lord. Have a blessed day.